Hey, welcome to today's video. I'm Prof. Omar. Today we're going to solve problem B1 on the Putnam 2005, and it states to find a non-zero polynomial P of xy such that P evaluated at the floor of A, floor of 2A is zero for all real numbers A. And here the floor function does the following. The floor of any real number S is the greatest integer less than or equal to S. So for example, the floor of 7.3 is 7 whereas the floor of something like 2.9 is 2. So it's not the integer closest to this, but it's the greatest integer that's less than or equal to this thing. All right, great. So how do we go about this problem? So if you look at these numbers here, you notice that there's a relationship between the numbers we're inputting and the floor, which is that when I take this number, 2.9 or 7.3, and subtract the floor, I get a number that's between zero and one. So if I take any real number A, I can write it as the floor of A plus some number R, where R is between zero and one. Less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to zero and strictly less than one. All right, so for example here, if this is A, this is the floor of A, so A is the floor of A plus 0.3, whereas here A is the floor of A plus 0.9. Now we're trying to figure out a relationship between the floor of A and the floor of 2A, um, so it makes sense to multiply this quantity by two. If we multiply A by two, we get twice the floor of A plus 2R, and now because zero is less than or equal to R is less than one, this quantity is something that's at least zero and strictly less than two. So what does that tell us? Well, if we look at the number 2a and ask what is the greatest integer less than or equal to 2a, well, 2a is an integer plus some quantity that's strictly between zero and two. So that means that 2a is either this quantity, which is an integer, plus one or equal to this particular quantity here. Because it is this integer value, well, this is the floor of 2a, because 2a is this integer value plus something that is between zero and strictly less than two. So if I look at the greatest integer less than or equal to it, we're either gonna take this integer and add one and a little bit or zero and just a little bit. Okay, so how does that tell us anything about a polynomial that would be zero for all of these pairs? Well, we notice here that our first coordinate x is this quantity here, and our second coordinate y is this quantity here. So what we're saying here then is that no matter what value of a we pick for these pairs of coordinates, we either have that y is equal to 2x plus 1 or y is equal to 2x, right? And so as a consequence, if we multiplied the difference of these, another way to word this is that y minus 2x plus 1 is 0 or y minus 2x is 0. And so we have that y minus the quantity 2x plus 1 times y minus the quantity 2x has to be 0. And so here is the polynomial on the left that we can choose for p of x, y, which will force y to be 2x plus 1 or y to be 2x, which actually has to be true according to what we figured out here. So a cool way to go about this problem, and really what it does is relate the floor of 2a to twice the floor of a, recognizing that 2a is twice the floor of a by something that plus something that is just a little bit higher than that. Great, so hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Click the bell for notifications on them.